Hi, everybody. I think we are live. Hi. Uh, how are you tonight? Okay, so thank you very much for everybody who was reaching out and asking questions. You were very helpful, helpful for um, uh, the others because I will be answering all these questions and everybody can learn and uh, help to themselves by learning this, um, uh, the way uh, this inflammation starts and how in the way how to heal it. Okay, so uh, I will point out uh, two very uh, questions which are repeating all the time. You know, people are asking them the same questions and I want to focus more on this. Okay, so uh, first one is um, uh, somebody asked, I have osteoarthritis, uh, sleep disc in my neck and, um, and back and, and the back of my shoulders also. So uh, can this be linked to gut problems? Okay, so first let's see what is uh, osteoarthritis and uh, rheumatoid arthritis and any um, arthritis uh, which is uh, connected with, related to joint pain, to uh, neck pain, to bon bones, uh, actually if the pain is in between the bones, uh, it happens when the the cartilage, the soft tissue between the bones, it's swollen and uh, it's difficult to move. So then it um, becomes stiff, you know, stiffness and pain. So why this is swollen and why this is happening? This is happening because um, there is inflammation going on in the body. So um, in many persons, this inflammation um, goes in this particular uh, part of the body in the joint and in the this soft tissue the cartilage this is where actually our um, immunity lies and this is where it uh, the battle happens you know when there is some pathogen some let's say bad bacteria microbe uh, the the our immunity is treating it as a toxin he wants to kill it and there are uh, on the membranes on this gram negative bacteria microbes there is a uh, lipopolysaccharides which are causing the irritating the the um, immunity and causing inflammation so if they are attached to this tissue then uh, our immunity is uh, attacking this tissue so that means our immunity is trying to help us and to uh, kill this pathogen to get uh, um, uh, rid of this pathogen and the battle is uh, going on constantly in this part of the body. So we need to stop the inflammation. And um, we need actually to find out what is causing this inflammation. So which kind of food is triggering this inflammation? Uh, this is the first step in our program. So we, need, uh, we are doing, and last, um, in last uh, um, time, uh, one, uh, we had one lady who joined she had rheumatoid arthritis and just after two weeks following the recipes and the meal plans she said one the one day that she wake, woke up without any pain in her joints in her um, back anywhere so the when we stop the inflammation but that doesn't mean that the the healing is over when we stop the inflammation then we need to heal the gut if you haven't watched the three-part uh, video series, I encourage you to watch. It's available until 5th of November, so you have a few more days to watch, where I explain how this inflammation happens and what are the steps uh, to follow in order to, uh, to reduce this inflammation. Then we need to heal the gut, and then we need to populate with the good bacteria, and uh, this bacteria will help us to heal our whole body. So it's not just uh, stopping the inflammation. We will feel better, yeah. But if we don't heal the gut, if we don't address the gut, then the inflammation again can happen. It can repeat. So sometimes people say, uh, I was feeling good. I was on a treatment and I um, saw some naturopath and I was feeling better. I stopped eating some food and I'm feeling better. But after a while, um, it happened again. 
So this means that um, the main barrier, the main uh, thing that is um, uh, helping us to, to become healthy and to stay healthy is our gut, must be addressed, it must be healed. Okay. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please you can write uh, below. I'm watching all the questions and comments. Uh, if you have additional questions regarding this issue or another question, you can just write it below and I will try to answer it right away. Okay, so we explain about the osteoarthritis and the um, rheumatoid arthritis. This is all similar. Arthritis means pain in the joints. There is inflammation going on in the joints, in the soft tissue. Okay, this inflammation must be reduced. And then next step is to heal the gut. And then after healing the gut, uh, then we will heal the whole body and it will not repeat. Okay, so this pain will not repeat and we will... Uh, if we continue treat, treating and, um, the gut and healing with a healthy food and uh, feed our bacteria with the food that they like to eat, then uh, the arthritis will not come back. So sometimes a few things, some few steps can help in um, avoiding the inflammatory food. That I'm constantly saying the same thing. We know the inflammatory food, which are the basic one, are gluten, dairy, and sugar. Some people uh, even, but just avoiding these three things, they become better. But that they should not stop there. Next step is healing the gut. Okay, so the second question was, um, I experienced fatigue, vertigo, dizziness when I bend down and reach out for something. So can this be connected with the gut? Gut is affecting our brain. So whatever happens in our brain, it's very, very closely connected to what happens in our gut. I also have uh, said before that for every one message that um, sends, uh, goes from brain to the gut, hi Muhitin, how are you? Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just please write it down. And uh, um, for every one signal, chemical signal that goes from brain to the gut, there are nine other signals which goes from our gut into our brain through our vagus nerve, which is uh, connected from our tailbone into our brain. And it's, uh, it's connecting all the organs. So this signaling is um, going um, through this nerve from our gut into our brain. So everything what happens, we think we have a problem with the brain, with our, uh, something is wrong in our head, we think, but actually the problem uh, starts and lies in our gut. Um, uh, some certain foods can trigger this kind of uh, symptoms. Some, this kind of food are, um, hidden glutens you know the gluten as i talk a lot about gluten uh, the he, the hidden glutens even if you stop consuming gluten there are some hidden glutens which are in the food in a in a different form and they are like uh, uh, modified food starch that also contains gluten in the processed food you can uh, read the label and if it contains this modified starch that means it contains gluten then dextrin uh, hydrolyzed uh, vegetable proteins and so-called natural flavorings uh, you know we read in the labels in the ingredients natural flavors and we think it's a natural thing but actually uh, the government allowed to the companies to uh, use this name and behind this name uh, can be hidden a lot of toxins and chemicals and also gluten Okay, so be careful when you read natural uh, natural um, flavorings. That is not natural. Why it doesn't say from which uh, from which fruit or vegetable is this natural, right? They should uh, say that one. Hi, everybody who jo who are joining now. So uh, thank you for your messages. 
please uh, write anything that you want me to address especially uh, so i address the osteoarthritis and the brain dizziness which is um, uh, very popular and uh, happens to many many people you know fatigue and dizziness that's all connected with our gut mm. also uh, that it can be caused by um do, but uh, these problems in our brain can be caused by blood fluctuations, like blood sugar. As I said, sugar is uh, one of the inflammatory food, and uh, fluctuations in the sugar in the blood can cause this kind of uh, dizziness and uh, brain fog and memory problems, concentration problems. That's all connected with the food. So our problem is not in the brain, it's actually what we eat. Uh, then also alcohol consumption, then uh, sensitivity to caffeine. I have noticed that, that when I drink caffeine, I become hypersensitive and um, uh, alert, like um, I have hyper alertness, you know, and, and I, ha I can jump and like uh, be uh, so nervous and become... In, if anybody make me angry that time, I can... <laughs> be extra extra um, alert yeah extra angry so coffee can trigger this um, irritation which affects our mood automatically okay so maybe you can notice that and try uh, see how you feel after drinking coffee and try to avoid it and see how you feel after that okay um, then some food can trigger as I said gluten, uh, diary and sugar um, it can trigger migraines constant migraines can be triggered from the food that we eat so the signal comes from the gut after we eat that food our bacteria sends a signal to our brain and uh, the symptoms begin then acid reflux can can uh, start from there and um, food sensitivities as I said. Okay, sometimes the people um, experience relief when they do pressure, massage of the pressure points, which is also good, but this is temporary relief. This is good for, uh, let's say, um, momentarily relief. It doesn't mean that the problem is solved on the root cause of the problem, it's not solved. So we, we need to address it completely from start to the end. So. We need to follow the exact steps which are um, uh, in the three-part video series if you haven't watched please watch it it's uh, I posted the link and uh, uh, if anybody wants to join the program uh, if, if you missed it last time this is the right time and you have a few more days to join and uh, I welcome all the new joiners and uh, we will address and we will follow the exactly the steps uh, first, what we will do is uh, reduce the inflammation. So immediately, it will be uh, you will feel relieved. There will be uh, reduced pain, reduced um, symptoms. Then we will uh, actually in the same time we will address and heal the gut with a uh, special supplements with this um, dosage. Exactly, you will have what to eat, when to eat, how much to eat, and how much to take the supplements and when. Uh, what test to do so there are exactly uh, the steps are laid down on day-to-day -day basis you know people um, many times they tell me okay uh, I would really like to to heal my gut but uh, I have um, a birthday coming up or I have uh, some celebration or I have a holiday or maybe after that you know I always hear excuses after excuses you know if we don't address this if we are not ready then it's okay whenever the person is ready he can join he can address it that time but I have to mention that this is the last time I'm giving discount price for this course the next year it will be a new price so if you want if you have any of the symptoms uh, these symptoms can be addressed and healed, inflammation can be reduced during the program. 
and uh, your gut will uh, will uh, be healed. We will address the gut healing. We will address also det detoxification, which is very very important. Uh, whenever we detoxify, we know that uh, our body will start to proper uh, to function properly because we uh, are removing the burden because our body is naturally trying to to heal itself and to regenerate, but we are bombarding it with toxins from everywhere. And uh, by removing these toxins, stop. Uh, we stop to uh, input these toxins. Then we are doing the uh, release, taking them out from the body uh, with the special steps during this program. And uh, automatically, the uh, the body is regenerating and it's healing, and the cells are regenerating. And the more uh, the people usually uh, tell me that they feel more energy. So less fatigue and more energy, which is the most important thing. When I regain my energy, then I felt that I'm uh, very, uh, that I'm completely healed. You know, when you have energy to do your the things that you want to do, then uh, everything becomes uh, so much much better. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can send me a message, and I will answer these uh, uh, new questions that you have. Or send me an email or uh, or um, write in the comments and I will read it and address it uh, as soon as I can. Okay, so you have a few more days to join. If you are ready to join our um, community, I welcome you and um, I will be so happy to work with you. So, hope to see you in the program. Bye!